Six months ago. These catty cousins. Let the fur fly. I'm gonna throw it at you, baby. Get the hurt. Let me tell you this. Uh -uh. Your man's gay. Your man's Look gay. Woo, this is gonna be a feisty one. Yeah. I came on your show to be with my mama. Wow. What is this you have in here? Yeah, what is that? This is my eviction letter I'm giving to you. She gonna have to leave or I will have to leave. Ow! 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 That's right now. Welcome, welcome. This is 35-year-old Andrea, and this is her 18-year-old boyfriend, David. Despite their age difference, Andrea says that they're madly in love. But a vicious rumor threatens to tear that love apart. That's not the only thing at stake today. Andrea's relationship with her first cousin, Terry, is also at stake. So why is Terry involved? Because he claims that he slept with him. So, Andrea, who do you believe, your boyfriend or your cousin? Of course, my boyfriend, that's my man. Okay. I mean, my cousin, he's, he's starting these rumors. I'm not with that BS, you know? I'm just, I'm not with it, so I'm tired how, of it. So how would you feel if that rumor was a reality? I mean, it depends what it would have come out to be. I mean, it's kind of hard, you know, being a woman, we're very emotional, so I don't know to actually the results come back through. When did you first hear that your cousin supposedly had sex with him? Uh, about seven months ago from family and friends. Yeah, but I don't believe it because David is always at work. Right now, I'm not working. Okay. I lost my job, so he does mostly work. He works, does construction. So, so he does like 12 to 15 hours a day. So how did you meet your boyfriend, David? We used to work at a warehouse two years ago. Okay. And yeah. was it love at first sight? Was no, it, just know? like, you know, I'm very comical when I am in a great move. So he's silly too, so okay. that's what it was. So when did Terry and David meet? Through me. Like I had a housewarming um, party. Okay. Yeah. Were they friendly? No, no. Um, you know, he's you know, Terry's been like cause at first he's like one of my best cousins. At first he was. Okay. And um Again, you know, I introduced them, you know, at the party, whatever, but excuse me, other than that, they just, you know, just cool, but me and Terry still hung out until that rumor just surfaced out of nowhere. And that's ever since then, he been, like, staying away from me. I'm like, where's he at? Like, right, right now, my grandmother on my father's side, like, will she have dinner on Sundays? Either I have to go there first or he has to go there first. That's how intense it is. Like, we can't be in the same room together. How did you feel when you heard that rumor and your family heard that rumor? I want to punch Terry in his face. Oh, really? Yeah, seriously. Ooh. So it's yeah. Jeff. You don't mince words, do you? Ooh, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of, yeah, crazy a little bit. Yeah, so. Okay. Well, I can't wait to meet this young man, Terry. Can you? Do he have to sit by me? Come on out, Terry. Yes. He does? I gotta sit by you. Now. You sit down. I you sit by you. You sit down there. I gotta sit by you. You look like I got on the dress. You know what? You sit, hey, sit down there. Robert, let sit me down tell there. you the real story. Sit down there. All right. Sit down there. Now. Sorry about the sound. You sit down there. That's okay. Thank you, gentlemen. So, she believes that you're making this up. Yeah, he is. He's making it up. I'm not making nothing up. He's making it up. I'm so, not making nothing up. The truth will come out. Okay. 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 I'm not making nothing up. Her boyfriend's sure. gay. Her boyfriend's gay. No, you're gay. And she's no. She knows that. But I, what you not gonna I, do? I would sit what you not gonna do? You're not gonna disrespect me. I would sit down. You're not gonna disrespect me, okay? So, so, so listen, not gonna listen. Are you a man? Yeah. Are you a man? I sure am. All right. Here. You I ever raise him? You ever? I don't care about security, baby. I'm you, here, you, you, don't. you, I don't. As a man, you wouldn't raise your hand to a woman, right? Why are you hiding? As six a, months ago, your man, six months ago, I was in the bed with your man, baby. I was in the bed with your down. man, baby, six months ago. Six, six, six months so, ago. It was okay, weak anyway. So, we're gonna... Okay, let me get there. That, let me get there. So, we'll get to that point in a minute. Don't see you. Ooh, this is gonna be a feisty one. It so sure is. Okay. See this? So, <laughs> when did David apparently come to your house? Six months David, ago, to a year. Okay. And at what time in the morning? 4.30-ish. Okay. He came to my house. Okay. At 4.30ish. He came and you to my said, house. And you, you, you still say he had sex with you? Yep, he did. Okay. Lies. And then he went protection. Then he went back to sleep with you, correct? Apparently, I would presume, yeah. I would presume he's that. lying. <laughs> okay. 
I'm surprised your pants not on fire. <laughs> didn't didn't you didn't you know? <laughs> I'm ain't sorry. it funny? Ain't this funny? This is a joke. No, no, it's not. It's important. Obviously, we have to get to the bottom of it, right? We sure are. So we sure are. Hey, wait till the light. You, I can't either. You believe? Wait till he come out. Where's David? This is all garbage. Yeah, it's straight. I mean, straight trash. Okay. I mean, when does the garbage people come? <laughs> they need to be on the way light right now. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, Terry, you end up having sex with David. Yep. But uh, didn't you know that I wouldn't worry about them? Didn't you know that she was dating him? I did. Okay, so why would you have sex with because him? Because I'm grown and I can do that. Because you're what? I'm grown and I can do that. He's a hot ass. He's, he's hot okay. in the pants. Okay. But it wasn't all but, that. You but know what you understand, knew she Robert? Was, but it wasn't all that. Hello. It wasn't Hello. all that. Hello. Hello. I'm all in the world. Baby. You're known, baby. Sit, don't you're, you even, if you think about that, I'm going to have you sent off the side. Your boyfriend, baby? Your boyfriend? Your boyfriend, baby? <laughs> I, listen, if let I me, have to... Let me get let to me tell you this. Let me, let me tell you this. Let me get to her. Let me tell you this. Let me get to her. If you're going to be silly, you'll go off the stage, all right? You understand that? Thank you, security. Thank you. You understand that? You're going to have to do what you got to do. Okay. the truth is about to come out. Sit over there. I sure will. Let's go. Come on. Sit over there. Well, he has if, he moves, if he moves... If he moves... If he moves, this is you. not... You this, gonna do what? I'm going to throw it at you, baby. <laughs> I'm going to throw it at you. I'm this is you. not... That's fine. That's all right. I can run, baby. I can run. I can run. I can hop over there. All right, sit down. Please. Yes, sir. I can I hop over Thank there. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to be late today. I'm going to try my best. So he came over to you after work, is that correct? Four, yes, 4.30 is she got out. When was the last time you saw her? Do what? Your when was the last time you saw your cousin? I ain't seen her in six... I ain't, it's been a year since I've seen her. Six scary. months to a year I've seen her. Okay. I ain't seen he, her. He's a punk she right so, now. She don't believe me. Punk. You get what I'm saying? I, baby, I could be a punk, baby. How did, how did you meet David? How did you meet David? Through Andrea, right? Yep. I took... I went through her phone. Let the truth come out. I went through Sit her down. phone. Sit down. <laughs> you, you did... Wait a minute. You created this. You created this. You're going to be sitting here, but you're being silly. No, I'm not being silly. I'm not being silly. You're being I'm, silly. I will not be disrespected. Thank you, everybody. So, that. were you an exotic I will not dancer? I not disrespected. D disrespect was when you slept with her man, knowing she was in a relationship. Yes. That was disrespectful. Okay. Watch him. I can't, I can't attract that. I cannot help that I attract men. I'm sorry, especially I mean, little me boys. Listen, my man. How old is he? How old is he? Okay, it does not matter about does. the age, but it matters to you because he's 18. So Terry, okay? do you he's think? 18. Do you think David? He's 18, okay? Yes. He's 18. Now listen to this crowd. He's 18. You right? She is 30. How old? Five. Dave. 35. He's 18 years old. Yes, I am. Do the math, okay? Sit down, please. You so lame. Thank you. So here's the thing. SpongeBob. Here's the thing. When he comes out, is he going to say that he had sex with you and it was really good? Or his is he going to come out or is no he going to... It doesn't matter what you weak. think, I'm talking about his what he says. His sex was weak and it was, it's nothing to brag about. It's do you think he's, you think he's been with other men? I'm sure he has. I'm sure I'm not the only one that he's been with and I'm sure she's not the only one that he's been with. Okay. He's, he, he's, he, he flips the fence. He, he, he don't know which side he wants to be on. So obviously you disagree with And she with this, supports right? that, and oh, she okay. loves that. But no, that's her man. That's her Why, man. I, she hey, likes it. Is, 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 is likes something. That. So if you're so good... Right. Hang on, let me answer. If you're, if you're so I'm good... I'm a beast. I'm a beast. Oh, you are. I'm a beast. Let me tell you how you have me, baby. He had me like this. <laughs> hmm. He had me just like that, baby. So do me a favor. Oh, my Do me a favor. Get him off my stage. Get him off my stage. Get him off my stage. Come over here. Get him off. Get him off. I'm going to stand up so you can't read the cards. But I want to assure you, if you move, if you move, move. and you better move if it's wrong. Because he's, I can't, I can't, I can't get that far. And later... No, 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 no,
Can you sit down, please? Boom. Okay. You know the rules? Yes, I do. If you move from that chair, or you raise your hand, or you come anywhere past this line of demarcation, that's my knee, you'll be escorted off the stage and out of the building. Yes, sir. That's the rules. Okay. My apologies. Okay, thank you. I accept your apology. So, I want to bring out David and hear his side of the story. Um, so, come on out, David. Okay, David, you have been listening backstage, yeah. straight up. Did you have sex with Terry or not? Hell no. <laughs> lying. She lying. What are you looking at her for? Cause I don't know, but ain't nobody. I did not sleep with you, bro. I don't go that way. I don't know what's wrong with you. He need help. How did you meet? You met through? Yeah, we met through my girlfriend. Were you friends? No. So we didn't have sex. We ain't have nothing. Okay. I ran into him at Kroger's one time, and then okay. next thing I know, he's knocking on the door talking about some weird dread, but I ain't know if they were talking or not, so I ain't let him in. But you did go to his house after work and but No, none of that. I don't even know where he live. None of that. Look at him, bro. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're going to give a lie detector test, right? Yeah. And what happens... Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's the test? You know what the consequences are, right? Yeah. You... I mean, he knows. You know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I believe him. I don't believe it at all. Because okay. he don't have time. He always at work. My, Just like, what the, where you getting it from? When he got off. But my thing is, Terry, why you, if he, even if he said something anyway, in a way, in a so, it's my turn to talk. If he said anything that was disrespectful, you should have came to me off the real. You should have even went to him. Hang on, one second. <laughs> you should have came to me. If he said something you out the way, you should have came to me. I'm sorry, Mr. Robert. But you should have came to me. He can look at all this you want. This just says Andrea on it, okay? He can, yes, no the queen results. right now. So. <laughs> the real queen. My you want to be me. So. Thank you, baby. So, I don't, don't want to be you. You too. I don't want to be you, baby. So what's here's here's what? the interesting part. What do you want to say? Okay, what I want to say is, David, it's okay. You be you who you are. You are you are. Bro, I'm me. You get I'm what not you, bro. I, I don't, don't care. You. We but ain't we did had sex. We I had sex. We ain't have and it nothing. was weak. And that's okay. Bro, we had a but conversation the in the store. Will you come asked out. what she was at. Couldn't the get a hold will of come of out. The truth could, will come out. If you if you had, and that's a big if, if you had sex with him. We did. You if you disrespected your family member by going after him when you know he's in a relationship. I sure did. Okay. I sure did. All right, good. All right, you ready? All right. Okay. Okay. You sure did? You don't, don't come for right. me, baby. All right, I'm going to stand up. I'm coming for him. I'm coming for him. Go for him. I'm going to stand up so you can't read the cards. But I will assure you, if you move, if you move, move. and you better move I'm if it's wrong, because she's, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't get that far. <laughs> we asked David, have you had sex with another man? You answered, yes. Whoa. The lie detector said it was the truth. Whoa. You didn't know that? No, I did not want to be with him. I don't get down like that. Uh 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 uh. Your man's gay, girl. Uh uh. Your man's gay. Your man's but gay. But it wasn't Why have you never said anything that you were bisexual or you were gay or? Because I ain't know how to bring that to her. Okay, can you sit down? What's no, she? What's okay. gay? Always gay. I don't want to sit over by here. Him. Move over here. No, I'm gonna sit, sit right here. here. I'm cool. I'm gonna sit right there because I don't want to sit next to you. Okay. You can hey, sit next to me. All right. Here. We asked David, have you ever had sex? With Terry, you answered no. Lie detector determined, however, that was a lie. Oh, no. No. I, I don't care what that lie detector test said. Hmm. I know what's up. You don't see what it's up? <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't care what that lie detector say. I ain't sleep with that. Uh, apparently you did. No. Sit there. Okay. You sit over there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> the truth is let it on, coming on now. Come on. Mm -hmm. Ain't no truth, Come but on, I don't lady. care what that car say. I don't care we what We asked that Terry, say. do you have a crush on Andrea's boyfriend, David? You answered <laughs> no. Lie detector said you were telling the truth. Congratulations. We asked Terry... 
Are you lying about sleeping with Andrea's boyfriend, David? You answered no. The lie detector determined that you were telling the truth. We asked Terry. Hmm. Sit down. He is not the truth teller. <laughs> Have you had sexual intercourse with Andrea's boyfriend, David? You said yes. Lie detector determined he was telling the truth. I don't have to lie about sex, y'all. I don't have to lie about things. Here's the thing. So you, you don't think you, you should have told her? I mean, that, yeah, I definitely should have told her, but, you feel me, I mean, I ain't know how to do that. Don't you think, do you wear a condom? Do you wear a condom? Yeah. Do you wear a condom with you with a man? Yeah. And you wear a condom with you with her? Well, well of course. Yeah, let's, let's, you know, what's up? Uh, Transformer. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. What happened to the deep voice, the but, cockiness, the... Like I said, it is what it is. I didn't sleep with this. What happened? I didn't sleep with this, but, um, it is what it is. So now his, you know. his, his, What's the, uh, I mean, the results. You can now take you these know. with you. I don't even want them with me. No, okay. Because I'm going to make him eat them. So here's, here's, the, here's the real facts of life. I think you're done. Oh, yeah, apparently, yeah. yes. Right? I, don't... I think you're done. You have to go and find you are what right. you want, but be real to you. Yeah. You are beautiful, Thank right? You. You, are, you are intelligent. You're feisty. <laughs> Yeah, I'm feisty. feisty beyond belief. Yeah, can yeah. I apologize? Yes. Um, I want to apologize to the LGBT. I'm not, you know, nothing gets said. It's just a point, like, I just wish that you would have told me, because at the end of the day, we still, we would have still been friends regardless. I want to, I don't judge you. I, you should know that's my favorite cousin. I don't judge him at all, but it's just a point, like, I don't like the sneakiness, the down low. I'm just not with all that. We all have a choice in life, and whatever your choice in life is, as long as you're happy, doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Right. So, best of luck to you. Thank you for apologizing. Thank you for apologizing. Best of luck to you. We appreciate you. We will be right back. When we come back. I grew with these papers, so it's my house. Away. She gonna have to leave, or I will have no force. love is never ending but my next guest his mother's love has cost him six years of rent and she's become the roommate from hell please welcome Gerald so so before I ask you this first question your mother is backstage she doesn't know why she's here that is correct so so why are you here um well two months after I turned 18 my mama moved in with me I really didn't want her to, but she just insists. I just thought it was going to be like a short-term thing, like maybe every now and then, a little weekend thing. But it's like, hey, more time I'm gone, she don't move in all her things, like her clothes, her dog, her fishes. Like, she got her friends there um, partying all night, drinking. It's just like I have no peace, and I'm just ready for her to go. So I came on your show to evict my mom. I'm tired of her. I love her, but I'm just tired of her. Right. Let, let me get this right. She's been with you six years, and you're going to evict her. Uh, it's no it's no easy way to say it, but I'm, like, really just tired of it, like, the drama. How did your mother end up your roommate? I mean... I huh? guess she just couldn't let me go. When I moved out when I was 18, she just... Like, she came, like, right away, like, a week thing. Then it just took... But, but how old are you now? I'm 24. You're 24. You're a grown man. Why couldn't you just tell her, hey, Mom, <laughs> move out? Uh, that, Why come to me? I I don't want to hurt my mom's feelings because I love her. And so you want me? You want you want me to hurt feelings? <laughs> if it come out like that, I, um, I just don't know how to break it to her, and I just need a little help. I didn't want her to. Uh... Are you afraid of her? Yeah, kind of, sort of. Okay. <laughs> so what's what is that you have there? Um, this son I drew up. This is my eviction letter. I want to get to my mom. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> So how much, so if, if we put it into the dollar value of how much money your mum has cost you, what would you say the realm of that is? Too much, like, too much. So, so the rent, you're saying $738, utilities $350, groceries $250, $1,338 a month, $96,000. So she wrote you a check today for $100,000, she could stay? Nah, because I want my own space. <laughs> I want my own space. You got to go, like, I just want to... 
was that was a test because most people have said, oh yeah, she writes me a check for hundred thousand dollars. I my own money. I don't need her money. Okay. It's just like I just want my own space. I want to walk around my house naked. I want to have many girls. I want to have as many girls as I want over. I want to party all night. I want to do me. I want to enjoy life. Like I ain't enjoy life yet. Here we go. I can't wait to uh, listen to Lene. Lene, come on out. So, <laughs> you've been living with your son for six years. No, not true. How long have you been staying with me? I have been staying with me. We roommates, sweetie pie. Uh, there's no, <laughs> I no, went, no. I don't, I don't consider so, my mom so you, me your a son, roommate. Your son came to tell uh -huh. you something today. Okay, go ahead and tell me. Uh, mama, uh -huh. um, I love you okay. with all my heart. I really do. But the reason I'm just tired of you staying with me, I want my uh -huh. own space. Uh -huh. I brought you up here to evict you. Um, I want you okay. to move out. I'm just tired. Well, you move out? Yeah, you, uh, you But you better be there. I know, but it's my house still, and it's just so much. Uh -huh. I don't be there because of all the stuff you got going on. Whoa, 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 what stuff? Like, let me, hold on, let me tell you something, I'm going to tell you no, something. Okay, this young, this little young man right here stayed with me for a while first, and then oh, I told him son, to move that's out. That's why I supposed to stay with you. You was grown. But anyway, I, he started having financial difficulties. Right. He's not telling you right. But and I, I ended up moving in to help him pay the bills. Let, let, let then, so I, yeah, you being rude. So, I, so well, I got a job and I started uh -huh. taking care and I started acting like a man. I got my own then two months later. That's true. You came. Let me tell you something, Rob, okay? Let me tell you, you never come out here and embarrass me. First of all, you could have told me it's at home. You never come out here and embarrass me. Mom, and that's I, not I, the I, point. Mom, that's not let me tell you something. He had finance problems. Right. Okay. So, hang on. So, when I moved in. Slow down, slow down. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just upset. When I get upset, I don't know how I'm going to act. Okay. When I moved in with him, he st his life was getting cut off, his walls getting cut off, so I came in to stop all of this. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I, I've been a nurse. basically adding more bills on me. Uh, like, I had more like, bills on me. It's just yeah. like, uh, I'm taking care of a child that I don't even have. No. Like, I know she yeah. took care of me. I know she took care of me since uh -huh. I was 18. I appreciate yes, that. Yes, okay. I love you, but uh -huh. it's just like... Okay. It's not you. I'm in a okay, relationship but are you, with you. But do you buy my clothes? Like, no, not clothes. Okay, do you buy my food? Rent. Uh, pretty much. No, you don't buy my food. You don't need my food. So I don't put food in the house. What you mean? You did put food in the house, but you don't buy no food and in the house. And now since you have all your grandkids, all her grandkids, you have all her grandkids, her, house house her, grandkids, house. her boyfriend, uh -huh. her dog eating up all the food that I used to put in the house. Of course, I'm tired of doing that. No, I'm tired of all that. Okay, he tell the story. First of all, my boyfriend don't stay. He got his own place. That's first of all. That's what I'm saying. So why she can't go stay with him? Okay, you tell me you didn't like him. So what do you mean why I can't go stay with him? I want my own place. I can't stay with you. What is that? What is that you have? What is this? What is this you have in your house? What is that? This is my eviction letter I'm giving to you. What eviction letter? You're not giving no eviction letter. You were giving my, my, is my back pay money now? Mom, you didn't pay nothing but like $25 a week. I have been paying bills. What's just $25 a week? That's Are what you, you kidding me? me? That's like gas if money. I knew, if I knew you paid money, show. That's like gas money, I swear. So, so uh -huh. he said, so he said, right? I'm okay, telling you the truth. So what Gerald said that he spent uh -huh. about $1,338 a month keeping, can you put that graphic back up, please? Uh, please. Yeah, so here you are. So this okay. is, this is what he's saying. Oh. Oh my goodness. Right? Uh -huh. So if, if you if you uh -huh. if you can write him a check for ninety six thousand. Oh, me? First of all, I, know, so I moved in to help you. I don't want her to finish my. I just I want to move in to help you. What for? You don't understand. But you're not helping you're me though. You've been, you you been a burden on me. You've been a burden. She's been a burden on you. How? Just standing with all that drama. I can't see no sleep. Since I've been standing there with him, his own name has been complaining to me. The police have been called on him. Because of our friends, majority. I don't be there a lot. If it's my house, I can pour it. If it's my house, I can pour it. I can do what I want in my so, own yeah, house. But, but I don't have to run nothing to guys, nobody guys, or my neighbors. Uh -huh. I can do what I want. I can do okay. what I want. Shut up! I can do what I want. I don't have to explain to her. Or All right, stop, stop, stop. Didn't you have your girlfriend over and your mom walk in? Yeah, I don't have women over. A couple of times when my mom don't came out the room in like her robe and just sit on the couch. I have a big couch, uh, okay, a big little okay. a couch over there. She would come sit on the same couch that me and my girl sit on in okay, her okay. robe and eat some noodles uh -huh, uh -huh. or eat a hot dog. Okay, okay. Sit right there. Uh, okay, okay. She, would, she, would, she would purposely pick an argument okay. with the no, girls I don't. No, I don't. so no, they can just no, some hate. These be the girls keeping on talking me about priests they bring them over there. They came in there with thongs on bra on. So these girls ain't no classic women. But she so used to scrub. She used to scrub back in the I, day. Yeah, I she did. She used to scrub. I did, sure did. But hey, what? Anyway, like I said. What you know was what I'm saying? I, I did use to scrub. I sure did. Right. But anyway, that don't mean nothing. But that was a long time ago when I took care of him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We talking about way back.
I'm upset because can you, can you sit, I, I'm, I'm sorry, just told no. me to sit down. Just keep no, smacking. I want to okay. smack him. You know, if you want bad, you want to smack him in your lip. But I'm just upset because some fan he should have came and told me he should say, "Mother, you know what? I think it's working out. You know, maybe you need to try to live for your own place." Then I would stop paying his bills. Mom, his license been back off. His warrant been back off. His suit been back off. All that been back off. You know what I'm saying? But see, he didn't tell me none of that. Did you not, sir? Mom, so you know what I'm saying? You realize that he's scared of you? Are you were scared? He knows I'm for that. I want to smack him. <laughs> I know I can't on TV. No. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to tell you another thing, Robert, too. What? You know what I'm saying? I like the cooking all that. Love you know it. what I'm saying? He took that from me. You know what I'm saying? I, ha I don't got know how to cook. I got to play with him at 14. Like. I was a teen mom, had him at 15. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I put my life, I put my dreams aside. OK. Because I, I, I like to cook that, and all that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You know, but he ain't really that. been home anyway. that don't anyway. have to do nothing with the situation. You know what So what are we going to do here? What is So what I'm going to do is I ain't moving nowhere. Because for one, I put a lot of money to that house. Okay. He can move. He take his name off. He can move. That's Matter of fact, that's he can add my to. name on the lease. I, I drew up these papers, so it's you my house. What? She gonna have to leave, or I will have I'm police force. How? How about to leave? When we return, that's not. Uh -uh. I'm gone. That's not. Uh -uh. He don't trust me. I'm gone. No, that's it. Cause he don't tell the story. No, baby. No. It's no he good running from it. You're his mom, now. right? Yeah, I'm his mom, but he's right, he got no Let them be the right thing. Yeah, he Do got the right thing. No, he got me. I'm going to feed him a fist full of You're scaring me now. Stay tuned. Love what you're watching from your couch? You want to see us live? Well, if you're in the Los Angeles area and want to be part of my studio audience, go to the RobertIrvineShow.com now. I want to see you here. <laughs> Say that again. I'm voting her out. She getting out. Okay. So you have all your friends over. Is that right? No, I don't have my friends over at all. He have his friends over. So you don't have a big party and drink all night and all night. No, no, I, I don't have to put, put them out drink. numerous times. I don't have to put you, I drink, I'm gone. Oh wait, man. Her, it's not her like house that. for her to be having five, six, seven, eight people to four or five o'clock in the okay, morning. Wait, 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 party wait, 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 at my house. It's like that's not. That's not. I'm gone. That's not. Me, I'm gone. No, that's it. Cause he don't tell a story. No, baby. No. Hey, Linay, Linay, Linay. No, this, this doesn't, this doesn't solve anything. No, but he don't piss me out. He tell a story now. But well, it's no he good said, running from it. You're his mom, now. right? Yeah, I'm his mom, but he right, didn't come on. Let's, then be the right thing. Yeah, he Do the right thing. No, he got me. I'm gonna feed him a fistful of in a minute. You're scaring me now. Not really. <laughs> he got me upset. Sit down there. Sit down for a second. Listen. Raise you? I didn't raise you like this. Let's I'm not, trying to, I'm not like trying to hurt your feet, I, mama. I just want my own space. I just want my own space. It's not, not, it's not nothing that serious. It's not that true. I want to be by myself then at the end of the day. Then why you call me to move out my house? Hey, if seven, day, house. seven years is a, a long enough. So, 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 on top of my that Don't I already stop. had. But, but he didn't have nothing but a lot for layout couch, okay. man. That was that's and all I needed for me. Now since out. you got your people there, you got air mattresses and bed. Stop! It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Stop! Zip it, both of you, for two seconds. Gee whiz. He got me upset. I'm sorry. Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> if she moves out, and takes all her stuff, where does she go? I'm to a point now, I don't even care where she goes. What? I don't. I'm to a all point right, where listen. I don't. So here's oh the thing. Goodness. Stop, stop. My head is spinning right oh now. Oh, my goodness. He got me upset now, Robert. Listen, but he's upset also. No, he got me upset now. Why, why are you upset? Because he said he only care where I go. Now, that, that, that right there was below the jaw. That was below her. Sit down. We're going to figure... That was below the belt, Robert. All I'm right, sorry. sit down, please. Listen. <laughs> you said you don't want to disrespect your mom, then don't disrespect her, okay? That was below the bill, problem. At the end of the day, she's still your mom. Whether you correct. want her in your apartment or not, so apologize to her. I do apologize, mom, I, for what I said. I'm on I love it. you. I'm on it. I'm so 
I don't want it. I'm sorry, I don't want it. That's, that's too much. I'm sorry, it was too what much. What do you want? You want the house back? I just want my house back. Uh, I can help you. It, it, it don't got to be right away, but I'm just I, I, saying I, we got to get towards the process. We got to get the process going of I, what we going to do. I just spent my... I just, look, when I get paid, the bills I make come out of my account. His light bills, his war, bitch, take two weeks for it to stop. You don't get my money back. Mom, you know, I got money coming out of the bank. What you mean That's I get my money? I pay the whole bill. Oh, here's what you do. I pay it, the whole bill. What are you talking about? Here's what you do, okay? It comes out of your account, right? Yes. And you get home, you stop the account. It's going to take two weeks, sir. They, for the stop, for then, the stop. He, then whatever it is, he has to pay your money back, right? He's not going to pay nothing back. He ain't good with money. That's important to be in this house. He ain't good with money. You have to let him make the mistakes. He better not like call me. Matter of fact, I'm blocking your number. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because I feel like he don't just bite me on this show and beat me like this. Okay. He could have put me to the side. I thought we, was, we had a relationship and we thought we had. I thought we had a better bone in this. And we do. How we got a better bone? We do. I just want. Well, you embarrass me. You know what I'm saying? We tried to embarrass me. We tried to embarrass me. It's not though. So, it's so, not. You know what I'm saying? You know, but you know you better. You better. You better. You better be there. You don't get to be in that table. You take the score. You make all that drama. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. He wants the house back. You, there's nothing, oh, no, you move out. No, because he just calls the police. They turn around and say, whose name's on the lease? Mm -hmm. It's his. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. This hers. I don't want it. You, you, you have the court to serve. You didn't do it right. I don't want it. So you, you can't so serve that's, me. So mm -hmm. your choice is, do you have a relationship with your son, or is that done? Mm -hmm. You have a choice. If you evict your mother and get your life back the mm -hmm. way you want it, quote, unquote, I mean, that's your decision. That's, the name. that's your decision, right? <laughs> That is. And that's that's something you have to live with. But whatever it is, uh -huh. you've got to do it legally. If you if and that means calling the law to evict your mom. Uh -huh. Oh, you don't gotta do all that. I'll get I'll get out that tired house. I I'll get out that house. It's okay. My, my furniture going with me. You my food going with me. You can take going everything. With me. You can huh? take everything. everything. I'm cleaning it out. Don't come over for Thanksgiving, yeah, yeah, Christmas. Whatever yeah, happens, I'm stay do you. We so okay. Whatever happens, I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna do me. So I'm gonna love from a distance. I'm gonna love from a distance. I wish you both the best of luck. Thank you. Uh -huh. Stay with us. We'll be right back. After the break, 15-year-olds, young lady, don't know the world, and you think you do, and you think it's cool, right? Look at your mother. See her eyes? Does she look like she's having a good time sitting here? No. Good. Why are we sitting here? Because she cares. And you don't. Stick. I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's, at the end of the day, that's what I call these people for. I didn't know how to break it to you. Mm -hmm. As I know you don't, you don't, you don't went over and beyond for me and my brothers. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that. And I just didn't know how to break it to you. And I just needed some help. I didn't want to come off mean, rude. Cause I really do appreciate the little stuff you do. I do. And I just, I just want to break, mom. That's it. And you know what? You got a son, and I, and I, and I respect you on staying there. You know that. I'm just upset because you did it open it. But you know what? I'm gonna respect you. I love you. I love you too, man. I love you, mom. Welcome. Kelly says her beautiful 15-year-old daughter Gianna is causing her to lose sleep because she feels Gianna is going down the wrong path. And she said she had to take some desperate measures to protect and save her. So, Kelly, your daughter was almost abducted three times, not yeah. once. So tell me about that. Um, she was walking off the school bus, only four houses down. When my daughter got off the bus, a guy in a white van instantly just started chasing her and rolling down the window, literally went like this to where she was walking to cut her off. And so she couldn't even make it to my apartment. So she went to the neighbors, dropped everything, ran to the neighbors in the garage, hiding until she heard him leave, and then she was hysterical and called the police. And then from there, when the police started investigating, this is the really scary part, is when they investigated, they talked to a girl that was jogging that noticed this man in the white van two weeks prior, so he was literally scoping her out. So he knew where you lived, he knew the, the yes. routine. And he knew her routine, he knew those. everything. Do you think it's gonna happen again? It scares me because it's happened a few times after that. Same same type of scenario. Same same. The same guys. No. Different this people. Is the, this is the weird thing. It's different. I move. So by you moving, you're trying to save that happening again. I'm trying to keep it from happening. What else are you doing to stop that? Well, she's she goes out. She won't tell me. She sneaks out. She'll jump out her window. So now I'm taking desperate actions. I've had what have to. You done? 
get the police involved, where now she's on curfews, she has to answer me, or basically she'll end up in juvenile detention center. Does she obey you? No. Father? In the... Not involved. What has happened to her as she's grown up? Is there something traumatic happened to her? I think it's traumatic not having her father in her life. She wants him. She looks up to him, and she really wants him to be a part of her life. And he has issues, and just if he sees them, it's maybe once every couple of years. Why are you, all, why are you getting emotional now? It, it just kind of, when I talk about it, kind of brings me back to that place, like when that happened to her. I'm scared. Um, I'm kind of terrified from all the things that's happened to her. That um, I have nightmares still, it really bothers me. I can't have anything happen to her. Does she understand how you feel? She's seen me cry, she's seen me upset, but I don't think it really sinks in. Well, it's time to bring her out. Gianna, come out here. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. What do you want to be when you grow up? A nurse. A nurse. Look at me when you talk to me. Oh. Why? Because, like, my grandma was a nurse, and so was my aunt, and I make so a lot of like to help me. people? Yeah. Do you hide in a garage and call the police? somebody tried to abduct you? Were you scared? Yeah. You afraid that's gonna happen again? Yeah. What do you do against your mum's wishes now? Tell me what you do. Do you sneak out? Yeah. What time? Late at night when I should be... I can't be... hear you. Speak up. Late at night when I should be sleeping, like past like 10. Like what time? Past 10, probably. Where do you go? Sometimes just in the backyard. What do you do in the backyard? Sit back there sometimes. And? Just sit back there. What you hide anything smoke. from your mom? Well, some of my friends smoke. Are you doing drugs? I smoke weed. You smoke weed? Yeah. You're 15 years old. How long have you been smoking weed? For like three years. Three years? Yeah. Have you stole money from your mom to, to get weed or credit cards or sold anything from the house? I took a credit card like once. Credit card? Yeah. 15 year olds, young lady, don't know the world and you think you do and you think it's cool, right? Look at your mother. You see her eyes? Does she look like she's having a good time sitting here? No. Good. Why are we sitting here? Because she cares. And you don't. Still to come. Your dad's not been in your life, right? I talk to him every now and then. Okay. How does that make you feel when you talk to your dad? Annoyed. Don't go away. Close captioning for the Robert Irvine Show is provided by... Crossroads. Kelly says she's worried that Gianna wants to act like an adult, but she's only a child. While Gianna says she plans to be an adult sooner than her mum thinks. Stand up. Stand up and face each other. Stand up. Stand up. Face each other. I want you to repeat after me. But talk to your mother. I like to disrespect you and smoke weed. I like to disrespect you and smoke weed. More than I love you. That's not true. Say it. More than I love you. Say it again. More than I love you. You think that's the face of a, a parent that doesn't care? No. So why do you do it? Because I don't think, I guess. Because you don't think. You're 15 years old. You're not smart, by the way. You may be academically smart, but you're not life smart. So buck up and start listening to your mom and don't think you know everything. What do you want to say to your mother? Sorry. Do you love your mother? Yes. I love you, too. Give me a hug. Come on. Give me a hug. Why? Why? I just want you to know something. You rolled your eyes. She's, she can be embarrassing sometimes. It's embarrassing? What's embarrassing? I'm not very affectionate. You're not very affectionate. Why? No. Why? Why do you feel that you can't hug her and tell you love her? I could hug her and tell her I love her. It's just weird. What's weird about it? Uh, sit down over there. What's weird about it? No, you sit yeah. here. Sit down. What's weird about it? I don't know. Your dad's not been in your life, right? Yeah. I talk to him every now and then. Okay. How how does that make you feel when you talk to your dad? Annoyed. Why? Because he's in. He's. Why are you crying? I'm not, not gonna say it, but. Why yeah. are you crying? Why are you have tears in your eyes? Because I don't like talking about him. Why? 
Why don't you like talking about him? Because he left us. I don't know. Do you feel angry about that? Yeah, I guess. Is that, is, is that why you find it hard to be... It's OK. Is that why you find it hard to be affectionate? Or you put a wall around you? Probably. Can I tell you something? Your dad's got his own issues, right? Mm -hmm. But you are very smart. Except the smoke and the weed and jumping out of buildings. That's okay. not very smart. My window's really close to the ground. I'll give you a hint. When you hit the ground, even though it's three foot off, it hurts. When it doesn't. I have a chair outside my window and everything. Good, because I'm going to take that chair away. She does all the time. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think you have to understand that as a 15-year-old, you shouldn't be uh, smoking weed, number one, right? Mm. And you can't be sneaking out at 10 o'clock or whatever, even if it's in the garden, because you obviously know that people watch you. Mm. It's happened a couple of times. Do you talk to her? I do. You sit and, and talk across the table like adults? She usually goes to her room and doesn't talk much, but when we do, I do try to tell her things, like, of what can happen to her and... I think, I think here is more of you have to sit down and, and talk to her as an adult, but then you have to act like an adult if your mom's treating you like one. Yeah. Okay? I would suggest you sit around a table once a week and you communicate all your fears, all your fears and things that you want to talk about that you can discuss in an adult fashion. So everything's on the table. If she's crowding you too much as a 15-year-old, you need to tell her that. But then you have to be able to say, well, okay, maybe I can step back a little bit here. And you have to say, well, I can, you know, give a little here. Right. I agree. Okay? Yeah. I wish yeah. you luck. Somewhere along the lines, I think we lost communication All right. with each other. All right. Give each other a hug, please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she smells good? <laughs> we'll be right back. Are you a couple in crisis? Are you on the brink of divorce? If you need my help with your relationship, come and be a guest on my show. Contact me at therobertirvineshow.com or call me at 1-844-IRVINE-1. Truth and honesty are always the right path to a healthy relationship. And if we strive to be straight with our partners, the lines of communication are always open. I want to thank my guests for joining me today, and thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.